period. Now this picture, this picture is kind of like Dr. Nelson uh, asking me to do a picture of the French Quarter. This friend of mine, who's a French Quarter, a uh, real tends to a lot of work in the French Quarter. Uh, he said, could you do a picture of the French Quarter? I said, listen, I, I go one better. I said, why don't we do a reconstruction of a particular site in the French Quarter? And, um, uh, but not the French Quarter that you would see today, which is essentially, you know, uh, 1870s. Uh, uh, the, the, the mo the, most of the buildings in uh, the Quarter now are actually built after the 1870s. But let's do an earlier version of the French Quarter, and we could have something happening in the in the street at the time. I said, what would you do? I said, I, uh, I would do uh, Lafitte the Pirate meeting General Jackson at the corner of, of uh, Royal and uh, Hospital Street, which is now Governor Nichols. Now, Tim, we were talking in, in, during the Battle of the North, he said, uh, you know, there's this controversy about who, when, when Lafitte actually met Jackson. You know, like in the movie, uh, Jackson's played by uh, Charlton Heston and Lafitte the Pirate is Mule Brenner and uh, they meet, meet in some kind of office room, and you know, Lafitte's got his guns out, and he says, don't move, Jackson. He said, oh, and then Jackson says, Mr. Peavy, you can, don't shoot him now. I said, just something, he's talking to somebody behind. He said, I know that old trick, Jackson. And then Mr. Peavy says, hey, Andy, I've got my medicine for you. Well, it's, you know, C.B. DeMille. Well, uh, the, uh, Tim said, oh, you know, uh, they did meet. And you know where they met? I said, where? He said, it was out in the street. It was at the corner of, uh, of uh, Charters and, and Hospital. Now, the reason they met there was because that was the gate, the military hospital, and the uh, barracks where Jackson was staying. And so, you know, in the explanation, I said, oh, you know, then we could re I could reconstruct the, that what it would have looked like. Your back is to the gate, for instance, and you're looking towards the corner. Now, the thing is, you know, when um, now I have a picture that we're going to show, it's one of those uh, behind you. Um, when the British came into uh, the Gulf, the first person they talked to were the pirates, Lafitte. And Jean Lafitte invited these three military people into, their, into his house for breakfast. And they were very impressed that this pirate would have such a, would be, be such a gentleman and have such a, an elaborate breakfast thrown from, et cetera, and so forth. And they reported this back, et cetera. Well, what happened was they, they were offering Lafitte uh, three propositions. One would be $25,000 or a captaincy in the British Navy, or they'd blow him out the water, which goes to what the Americans did. The Coast Guard did that. They did that later. And uh, so, uh, Lafitte said, oh, I'll think about it. Well, the thing is, he eventually, his model enemy was the governor of Louisiana, Claiborne. There's a, there was a reward out for the, both, both Pierre and Jean Lafitte, but they could never bring them in. Judge Hall, who was a magistrate, the, 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 the federal attorney, like, uh, uh, like Latin would be today, explained to Governor Claiborne, he says, you don't realize if I arrest Lafitte and his brother, I'll have to arrest everybody in New Orleans because <laughs> they're all in on the deal. See, they were smugglers, right? Well, anyway, Lafitte reports to, uh, to Claiborne that the British are here. Now, in those days, we're so used to things, the satellites. In those days, nobody knew where anybody was. There were no accurate maps or anything. And uh, so uh, Claiborne swallows his pride and introduced Lafitte to Jackson. Well, that's where he introduced him, was at that corner, because uh, it was early in the morning, and um, uh, Jackson was coming out with his dragoons, and there was Claiborne with Lafitte, and says, oh, General, I'd like you to meet someone. So the General gets off of his horse, goes over to Lafitte, and they shake hands. I'd like you to meet the pirate Lafitte, <laughs> right? And so uh, Lafitte shakes hands with Jackson, and Lafitte gives him the Masonic handshake, which meant to Jackson that it was somebody he could deal with because they were both Freemasons. That was something that was a big deal, that, that little handshake. And it's a, where you take your thumb and you, your four, your, one of your fingers and press it against the other guy's thumb or something like that. But that's what the, and he gave me that Masonic handshake. But what this does is, uh, this is a reconstruction. None of these buildings are there now, because they, they, mainly this whole area was re redone in the 1830s. But see here the dragoons, and uh, uh, there's Lafitte shaking hands with Jackson. This is my patron right here, I put him in the painting, and this is, my pay, uh, my, his wife and daughter, they're standing on the porch. I, this is, th these buildings, see this, is, this represents a type of building that was had the, uh, like uh, the Absinthe House is, where you've got a, a, third, a second floor that's actually a warehouse that's between the, the first floor and the, and, the, and, the, and the living quarters, you see. And this is one of the houses that you would have seen 
in the French Quarter in the 18th century, which was more of a West Indian type of a galleried house, like the um, Madame John's Legacy on Dumaine Street. So that's kind of what I've done.